see but uh, I have an infection that's growing up my cheek here I don't know if you can see how swollen that is this whole side of my face and over the weekend it's a Monday morning it's real early in the morning over the weekend I started with just a little ache right in here above my tooth I must have a tooth that's infected um, anyway <laughs> yeah, and hurt pretty good and over the last couple of days it's and then I woke up this morning about I don't know uh, probably one or two o'clock in the morning and this is what I found is all swollen and in my eye starting to get there so I did an e-visit with the doctor my provider and they called in a prescription for some antibiotics but I can't just I'm sure the pharmacy is not going to be open till about eight or nine o'clock and I have to go set up a job this morning first thing so uh, I'm gonna get through it I'm sure it just hurts and and I you know these are dangerous I've I've had infections that ended up getting throughout my whole body and everything before uh, years ago so another another chapter in Jay's journey <laughs> uh, good morning everybody uh, just sitting here at my office this light is blinding isn't it let's do this we'll turn it away like that oh it's a little better I'm still kind of in the dark a little my face is doing much better today and the pain is why well, I was in excruciating pain last night yesterday from my root canals but it is getting better and it, I can see it's going down and this morning the only thing that helps is ibuprofen Tylenol doesn't seem to help at all it's about five it's six o'clock in the morning here I gotta go out and water the lawns uh, get some things done do my scripture readings and I'm a little late I kind of slept in a little bit today till about five o'clock because yeah that's sleeping in for me <laughs> sleeping in <laughs> but uh, I needed the rest oh I was just in so much pain I haven't slept well the last two nights because of the abscess in my teeth good morning Jay here so I have a lot to be thankful for this morning basically well <laughs> Some, I had this root canal, so I've been telling you all week in my little short videos. Long story short, I think they may have done a root canal on the wrong tooth. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going back in next week to get another root canal done. They finally got me on to some antibiotics and an anti-inflammatory that worked. So I had seven full days of intense pain. And where I could sleep at night very well and it's just been brutal but this morning I am happy to report 
I'm pretty much pain free because of the, uh, the anti-inflammatory drug they gave me. There's hope that I'm going to get this taken care of by the middle of next week. So that's all the good things. And there's a, a plethora of other reasons why I'm grateful this morning too. I have jobs going. Uh, as far as I know, everybody in the family's healthy somewhat. I mean, uh, you know, there are some health issues, but I mean, you know, overall, nobody so far has virus or anything serious going on. So, for that, I am grateful. Good morning, everybody. Oh, that light is always a little bit too bright over here, isn't it? Let me see if I can dampen it down up here. There we go. Uh, Jay here, having my morning coffee. Cheers to you. I hope your morning's going good. I've got my little chores I got to do around here. My office work, things like that. Getting ready to do all that. Grateful. The old cheek is much better. Just wanted to say good morning and rise and shine and have a great day. Well, good morning. Jay here. It's early morning here where I live in beautiful Colorado. It's still, the sun has not come up yet. It's after 6 a.m. It always perplexes me this time of year. Um, the sun comes up later and later and later every day, but <laughs> the days get hotter and hotter and hotter. Uh, and it goes down earlier and earlier, you know? The days kind of shrink in their longevity. Oops. I'm wrong, it's only 5.30. My pillow alarm just went off, so. Don't know why I thought it was six. I'm not awake yet. I'll be back in a minute. The coffee just got done brewing. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Much better. Coffee. Can we talk? Coffee. Mm. Okay. For some reason, when I woke up this morning, I looked at my little watch thing and it said, uh, I thought it said 604 and I thought, man, I had incredible amount of uh, tooth work done yesterday. I've had a, about a week's worth of a lot of problems with my teeth. I had uh, a couple of root canals had to be done. Anyway, I was really tired when I got home last night after four hours in a dental chair. So I kind of overslept this morning, which is okay. Uh, nothing bad about it. The cool thing that I wanted to share with everybody, um, I got some requests for videos, which I'm going to do some of them, to do in a, a vlog on open tunings, alternate tunings on guitars. The request was for specifically for different kinds of open tunings. So I'm going to explore that on one of my uh, posts and put that in as a content for one of my episodes. And uh, also I've got my new M50, Canon M50 camera, which I'm talking into right now in my office here. And I'm still trying to uh, learn how to become a photographer and videographer. I mean, I'm a, this camera's probably way uh, more advanced than my knowledge and understanding of video and photography is. But that being said, I'm a learner. And when I'm learning, I'm alive. And uh, I feel really good. So I am learning things. And I got the sweet rig set up. I've got uh, the shotgun mic on right now. I'm not using the lavalier mic, which I do have a lavalier mic, but. This morning, it's, it's a lot easier to be mobile when I have the shotgun mic on, and hopefully the sound quality on this is pretty darn good. And I figured out how to use the settings and everything. Also, got some other uh, sweet add-ons to it, and I'll probably show you a little bit of a review of the camera. So here is my EOS M50 made by Canon 
it's my new Canon camera I'm going to use it for photography and vlogging it's a mirrorless camera it's probably more camera than I will be it's probably above my abilities this is the camera itself with the cage frame on it here are the various batteries I use the two smaller ones are the batteries that came with the camera and go inside the two bigger batteries are batteries that I bought after market NPF 750s and they give you about 10 times the battery life and there's a little tripod I carry and a handle for on top for mounting um, the battery, uh, the blind spot there, and uh, it holds the bigger batteries. Or I can do a shotgun mic, which is over there on the side. I can mount that on the handle as well, or onto the cage of the camera. Um, then I have a bulb for cleaning, a little air bulb, and that's a lens adapter for Canon lenses or EF style lenses because the Canon takes M style lenses and that adapts the other type of lenses to that Canon camera. Also there was a power AC power supply back there. Um, one of the problems with the uh, kit batteries that come with it is a very short battery life and that's why we went with the um, larger batteries is especially when you're vlogging if you only get you know 20 minutes or so before the battery dies that's not good this is the whole rig kind of assembled that I'm using now with the shotgun mic mounted onto the Canon camera I apologize for some of the video quality because um, I was using my little a zoom q8 camera and I didn't have the lighting quite right so I had to enhance the lighting on Premiere Elements and use some stabilization and it kind of gives it this wavy look but um, this is the um, the completed put together kit using the cage frame and uh, the kit lens that comes with it which is a very versatile lens eventually I will be getting uh, more a tele more the zoom lens that can go out further and maybe a smaller wide-angle lens as you can see the shotgun mic is mounted on top that's a tack star very good quality mic I'm using it right now for doing the narration on here and this is my new camera rig hopefully I'll learn how to use it and be able to make some better quality videos as I go along that's the blind spot that holds the big battery and that also has USB ports that can charge other devices like your cell phone, um, other batteries, etc. So that's it. My new Canon EOS or EOS M50 mirrorless camera. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my backyard. And uh, Jay here. So it's a beautiful Saturday morning. And tomorrow afternoon, we are going to end up high up in the high country in the mountains of Colorado. I am taking my two daughters and two of my grandchildren, um, my daughter's two boys, camping for a couple of days up there. And I just wanted to share with everybody kind of a, uh, I don't know, it's just sharing what I go through when I take for two days camping. It's unbelievable how much stuff we bring. Plus, in Colorado right now, fire ban. That's right, a fire ban. We can't have any campfires or open flames. I, it's okay to cook on this Coleman stove here. Um, but that's what we're going to do up there. And it's going to be interesting because it gets very cold at night up there. So we'll be sitting around lanterns, I guess, until we go to bed. But I have some gear here I want to go through and kind of share with you what I'm going to take with me. So we'll have all the creature comforts pretty much. We are in a designated campsite, uh, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, wish it was a little more wild, but uh, with kids and everything, you kind of have to, uh, you know, and we have, they have bathrooms there and stuff like that. So that being said, let's start with the camp kitchen, which is going to be a very focal point for the meals. 
and feeding five people. First item I have in my camp kitchen is I have this pot, a stainless steel pot, and uh, inside this thing I have this little bungee cord that holds the lid on. Here's my ever so needed coffee, old coffee percolator. It makes probably four or five cups maybe, and it's, I think enough to get us going in the morning. Percolating coffee. I've done, I've gone with guys before and ended up doing two pots with that. You know, do one pot, get everybody a cup, then do another pot so we can have a second cup or whatever. So there's the, the camping pot. And of course, a big frying pan. Just you know, skillet dinners in, just throw a bunch of stuff in there and fry it up and Everybody grabs a bowl and eats. Okay. Oh, yes. Also, the old grill that fits right on top of the Coleman. Of course, you need the Coleman, and this is a flat side here. You can cook pancakes on this. Kind of works because of the use, and I think the heat over the burners have kind of melted the melt, or not melted it, but warped the metal a little bit. But it still works. So we'll use that. And of course, the ever so popular Coleman. Two burner camp stove, no big deal. Just a little two burner one. Like so, and that grate fits right on top of there. And the hamburger hot dogs on there. And what I call my camp kitchen. And I'm actually going through this today because I need to find out what I need to go to the store to get. So, right on top, I've got some paper bowls, paper plates, of course. And I have this little thing you can hold over a fire but we're not going to have a fire and we can uh, use it as a pop holder you can maybe put some tortillas on it warm them up or some bread and make toast or uh, warm up a sandwich or whatever um, it's just like a hot plate kind of thing okay have that in there um, I have a always have alternate ways of starting fires here's a, uh, a striker here um, with the little, on a lanyard with Striking piece, you know, with the sparks there. Where is it? There it is. There we go. So the spark. Yeah, you can see. Okay. We got that. Starting fires. Of course, a little knife and fork and spoon set just in case. Um, we have this here. That's good for setting things on, on the camp and everything. I have my old mess kit. Uh, and could use it as a small frying pan or a plate to eat out of sometimes. A bowl. Um, towels. I carry kitchen towels and of course the important papers in my cave kitchen. We all know what those are for. Um, towels. Uh, uh, some more fire starting. It's like uh, fire starting sticks. I have a bunch of these. Fire starters uh, makes it easy, but we can't have a fire, so we can't use that. Extra C cell batteries, D cell batteries, all kinds of batteries. We need those. The reason we need more batteries is because no fire. So we're going to have little lanterns with batteries in them and things like that. People will be using maybe sit around the lantern and play guitar in the 38 degrees cold. I don't know. We'll see how, how that goes. <laughs> um, of course, I have a towel that wraps up some kitchen utensils here, as always. And a couple of towels, dish towels. And I have plastic stuff, but I have a knife in there. Uh, spatulas, spoons, big forks, a couple of spatulas, just in case we need them, plus uh, we always have a camp knife, but double duties as a bushcraft knife kind of, and uh, it can be washed off and used as a prep knife. Um, so that is, sharp blade. that is in my camp kitchen, another, all the utensils. Then there is various and sundry food items, so meals ready to eat. These are rice kind of packets that you heat up in hot water. 
uh, make rice with. Right? Of course, condiments, mustard. And we've got sugar because uh, kids like the sugar in their coffee. Coffee creamer. Have to get some more of that on the list, and I have to make a list as I go here. As it comes up, uh, seasonings. Another rice and broccoli dish. Of course, ketchup and mustard. Some garlic powder seasoning. Um, canned goods. I've got some corned beef hash there. Always bring some cooking oil here. There's a big cast iron skillet down in there. Need that. Oh, there's some coffee. Yeah. We've got some. We need a little more. Then we've got in here uh, some little hot cocoa packets that are busted. Some little candles, emergency candles, just in case. Some more utensils, some more batteries. Spices, what's this, dill weed, some canned goods, like I said, you know, some tuna, some corned beef hash, some vegan sausages, pepper, of course, peanut butter. I don't have dill in there. A little pot in there, another little pot, another set of knives, a toasting apparatus. I always bring some bus bags for garbage in there, instant coffee. Uh, I want to boil it up and make our decaf instant coffee. All right, and so that's in the camp kitchen thing. Lots of batteries. Of course, we gotta have plenty of these burners. I got a ton of those that go with us. fashioned lanterns. I've had them for a while and never used them, but we've got lamp oil, but I figured since there's no fire, I'll bring them. And uh, we've got some other kinds of lights in there too. So, so I also have a machete just in case we need to chop wood, but no fire, no need for it. Bushcraft, more bushcraft knife. Carry. Carry. Just bear and cat. There and cat just in case. 357 Magnum Ruger, but uh, usually don't even be melting bullets for it. But usually don't even use that, carry it. Maybe, maybe if we're hiking in the woods or something. But around camp, we don't need it. Now, tote here number one. We got some nice bed sheets and stuff because I like comfort. This has all kinds of little tiny water bottle, hot hands, packs to put in your gloves, keep your, in your bed, keep you warm, emergency space blanket kind of thing, sponge for cleaning, a bunch of paracord and rope. I don't know if you can see that. Um, rag of bags, a, another survival knife, camp shovel, Patch it again. I'm not going to need much of that stuff, probably. No fires coming up. A bunch of bungee cords, um, one of those uh, face masks kind of things if it gets real cold, but not like that. And extra tent pegs just in case. Got a pair of cords, so that's all that's in there. Tote number two. Okay. Cans of heat because I have one of those little stoves for individuals. Compass, aluminum foil, a couple more of the uh, gas canisters, a little light, LED light that cleans sponges, some goop hand cleaner, first aid kit, first aid kit, Don dishwashing soap. Cutter, uh, outdoorsman, uh, one of those uh, citronella candles, keep the bugs away if we need it. Extra trash bags. Uh, that. Oh, another hatchet. I didn't realize I bought another one, so I got two of them. Brand new one, okay. 
Won't need it. No fires. Interesting. Forgot that I needed that. Uh, little canister. Another little lantern. Kind of pops up. The outdoor lanterns. You just pop it up and it's got LED lights in it. Lights up real bright. Light up your tent, hang it from your tent ceiling. That's awesome. Got repel wipes for mosquito wipes. Got some bug dope here. Mosquito repellent there. Alright. Of course. The tackle box, fishing pole there. Look, we've got the tent, a cot for sleeping. You see that there? Car. Duffel bag it has sleeping bag, air mattress in it. Somebody, here's the heater buddy. For a cold tent, this is a great item. The heater buddy. Got a couple of propane tanks. Throws off a bunch of heat in your tent. Keep your toasty and warm in there. Right? And it's safe for in your tent. It is safe for that. Also, uh, a couple of coolers. One of those pop-up shelters camp chairs and other than that I think I'm set to go looking forward to a good weekend and I will share with you guys when I come back uh, the camping stuff maybe a lot of footage from it and I'm really looking forward before the kids go back to school to spend this special time with them up in the mountains you know create a couple of memories here and be as comfortable as possible doing it. I have some content coming up that I'm going to be working on. Music. Uh, maybe some original songs I want to do. I've got two or three original songs that I want to put down, uh, make records of. So I'll be working on that in the next few weeks and trying to keep posting. It takes a lot of time to provide content, so I apologize for being kind of lame. I'll get back to you with how the camping trip went. Jay out.